So I've drawn three figures. Can you tell me what are they? What about this one? Life? Yes. This? Ray? Yes. This? Line segment. Correct? That is not new for you. So you know it well. But as we learned in the fifth chapter, during Euclid's time, these were called lines. ये सबको लाइंस कहा जाता था सबको दे वर नॉट डिस्टिंग्यूस्ड एज लाइन सेगमेंट रे एंड लाइन यस इसको बताते थे अ टर्मिनेटेड लाइन क्या बताते थे उसको टर्मिनेटेड लाइन क्यों बिकॉज उसका टर्मिनेशन हो रहा है दे स्टॉप इन केस ऑफ लाइन इट कीप्स ऑन एक्सटेंडिंग इन बोथ द डायरेक्शन इन फाइनाइटली करेक्ट and in case of ray there is termination at one end and other end extends infinitely okay so during euclid's time this all three were known as lines only but then later we learn this is called line this is called ray and this one the third figure is of line segment all right we also learned about representing them symbolically yes symbolically say suppose two points are taken then we say ab and put small symbol of line over it this is suppose ray ab the originating point origin originating point or it is also called initial point initial point Initiates, originates, starts, starts, originates, initiates. So it is called initial point. Okay. वहाँ से शुरू होता है. Other word for that, शुरू होना मतलब to initialize, to initiate. So it is also called initial point. Yeah, mostly we'll be using this word for ray. Initial point. That is the one end point that it has. Okay. Other end, it extends. stop uh, without stopping correct right? endlessly okay this is line this is ray and this is line segment how to represent that 
So originating point first, initial point is A, and to its right we write B, and from here small symbol of ray. ये initial point A के नीचे ही, alright? अब आप ऐसे लिखोगे, तो it will be wrong. हाँ, ये ray B A होगा. So B will be will be the initial point, and this uh, ray extends endlessly from B in the direction of A. Ray AB is what? It originates from A, it initiates from A and moves through B in that direction endlessly. Ray BA means it originates from B, moves through A and extends endlessly. So there are two distinct rays, different rays. Are. Line segment. Yes, suppose this point is A, the other end point is B. A line segment has two end points. So we write AB and then a symbol of line segment. So this is also what you learned. How to represent line, ray and line segment symbolically. Fine. Uh, we are going, we'll be back to what uh, Euclid said. They are all lines. But we are symbol same rakhne wale hai abhi iska symbol ab iska symbol bhi ab aur iska symbol bhi ab instead of uh, putting that small line ray and line segment we won't be putting anything above ab yes you can say ab is line ab same ab you can call it line uh, ray ab and same ab you can call it line segment ab why we have done this? Because quite often we will have to write those symbols over AB. So there is a writing inconvenience. To make writing convenience, the symbol above AB is removed. So that we can write quickly. Okay. Uh, but then one question must be arising in your minds. Then how do we know? By simply writing AB, how do we know it is line, ray or a line segment? Simple, in context of what we are talking about. When we write AB, ye AB kiske baare mein hum baat kar rahe hai? In that context, you can understand it as line, ray or line segment. I'll give you an example. Here. Alright. AB is a side of triangle ABC. I have written this AB in statement. Now this is a line hai, ray or line segment. Hai. We are talking about side of triangle. And side of triangle is a line segment. So here you have to understand that AB stands for line segment AB. You have also understood this about it. BA is an arm of angle ABC. Now this is BA. Ray is a line segment or line. है. So it is arm of angle. This is angle ABC. This is not new thing for you. You know it very well. So BA, Ray BA and Ray BC, they are arms. So here we are talking about ray. Here we are talking about line segment. Alright, okay. This is AB and this is MN. Uh, AB and MN are parallel to each other. They are parallel to each other. You can see in context of the diagram. AB and MN are parallel. That means they are not intersecting. Now, here we are talking about lines. AB and MN stands for lines. Are you getting me, children? For line segment, line or array. If you use a single term line, it's okay. Line A, you should not use actually. But if you use it, it's okay. Alright. Well, there's one boy whose name is Mohanish. Correct. But his mother called him Montu. 
right you are mohanish's friend so whenever you want to call mohanish you will say mohanish and whenever his mother wants to call him she will say montu but montu and mohanish are one and the same okay so when you go to his house and uh, if you hear his mother calling him montu that time you should realize montu is no one else but whom you call mohanish all others call mohanish all right okay right mohanish's brother may not be calling him montu may be calling him chiku right so chiku montu mohanish they are all one and the same are you getting me so sometimes instead of line uh, instead of line segment if we say line it's okay instead of ray if we say line it's okay because line a uh, ray sorry line segment and ray they are contained by some lines do you understand let me explain to you here is one flat i live in this flat correct okay and this is one room of the flat so this room is contained by the whole house there is kitchen kitchen is contained by the whole house there is bedroom it is contained by the whole house do you understand so this living room is a part of my house kitchen is a part of my house bedroom is a part of my house so i can say i am i am where if someone asks me where are you so i'll say i am in my flat instead of saying i am in my living room if i was in kitchen if someone calls me where are you so i won't say i am in my kitchen i'll say i am in my house even if i am in bedroom and if i get a call and someone ask me where are you i will not say i am in my bedroom i'll say i am in my house all right so even if i say bedroom it is contained by my house kitchen or even the living room they all are contained they are a part of the house correct like that line segment and ray are parts of line correct okay uh, we'll come back to that children tell tell me what figure is this very good angle what about this figure right angle what about this figure correct angle so we are going to learn about lines and angles in this chapter in detail so our chapter is lines and angles correct now this lines doesn't mean only line it can be line it can be line segment it can be ray because line segment and ray are ultimately the parts of line and that this angles all right chal liye to see them in detail kuch pre preparations karenge सपोज आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट टू लाइन मैंने सिर्फ दो लाइन की बात की है तो हाउ कैन द टू लाइन एग्जिस्ट एज तो दो टू लाइन मे बी इक्वल और दो टू लाइन मे बी डिस्टिंक्ट डिस्टिंक्ट मीन्स डिफरेंट और राइट इन मैथ्स वी डोंट यूज द वर्ड डिफरेंट वी यूज द वर्ड डिस्टिंक्ट ओके now when are the two lines equal children this is one line a and b this is line ab correct now on the same line okay you can call it small l also you know that on that i'm taking one more point n and m so you can call the same line as m and also how are these lines they are one and the same the line which is passing through a and b is the same line which is passing through m and n so line ab is equal to line mn so they are equal lines all right and here you can say that is equal to l ab equal to mn equal to l here 
the two lines AB and MN are equal. Okay. In other words, this is one line. This pen represents one line. And there is another pen exactly coinciding, overlapping. A line on a line. One is L and let me say other is M. So I can say small m. Alright. So these two lines are equal. Now distinct lines. When are the two lines distinct? There are two situations for two lines to be distinct. One, they are parallel. One, they are parallel. And second, they are intersecting. They are intersecting. Actually, these two lines are intersecting. Line L and line M, they are intersecting. But each and every point of both the lines are one and the same. Okay. Now here, I am drawing a line L parallel to line M. They are very different lines. Though no line alag hai, that's why they are distinct lines. So you can say two parallel lines are always distinct. Look here. These two, line L and line M, they are intersecting lines. Line L and line M are intersecting lines. Correct? They intersect each other at this point A. Okay? They are distinct lines. A line or A line. Dono alag hai. Except one point A is common. Point A is on both the lines. The rest points are different. They are not common. So here L and M are called distinct lines. Alright? So when do we get uh, equal lines? If they are coinciding, if they are overlapping, if each and every point of both the lines are common, then they are equal lines. When they are distinct lines, either they are parallel or they intersect in one point. Children, actually, these equal lines are also intersecting. They are also intersecting lines. But every point of one line is the, are the same points or is the same point of other line. Dono line ke sub points common hai. Ye bhi intersecting lines hai. Ya dono line ke ek hi point common hai. So the two lines are intersecting in first and third case. Ye case may be intersecting hai. Ye case may be intersecting hai. When the two lines intersect are intersecting in such a way that all points are common, then they are equal lines. And if two, dis if two points are intersecting in one and only one point, then they are called distinct lines. Then they are distinct lines. Not called, but they are distinct lines. Is that clear to you? Okay. So we talked about two lines. How are they? Equal and distinct. Now let's talk about two line segments. So we just saw two lines. Now we will see two line segments. Alright? They can be equal or can be distinct. Okay. Now, this is one line segment. AB. Ye point M hai or ye point N hai. Point is one. Yahi point hai. O A B hai or M B hai. Same point. B B hai and B hai. So here, line segment A B is equal to line segment M. So once again, the two line segments are coinciding. Ye dono line segment ek dusre ke upar overlap ho rahe hai. Like this. Correct? So, these are called equal line segments. Is that clear? Now we will talk about distinct line segments. Distinct line segments kaise honge? Contained by same line and con two types ke honge. Contained by distinct lines. 
कंटेंट बाई सेम लाइन एंड कंटेंट बाई डिस्टिंग लाइन यहां भी दो सिचुएशन होंगे लेट सी आई एम ड्रॉइंग द फिगर एंड शोइंग यू सी दिस इज लाइन सेगमेंट ए बी करेक्ट और वही लाइन पे है लाइन सेगमेंट बी सी देखो इसको पूरी लाइन में कन्वर्ट करते हैं बाय एक्सटेंडिंग इट हम आगे प्रोड्यूस करते हैं बोथ द डायरेक्शन और उस लाइन का नाम देंगे एल सो लाइन सेगमेंट ए बी इज कंटेन्ड बाय लाइन एल कैन यू से लाइन सेगमेंट ए बी इज अ पार्ट ऑफ लाइन एल लाइन सेगमेंट बी सी इज आल्सो पार्ट ऑफ लाइन एल अभी दोनों के बीच वन पॉइंट वन एंड पॉइंट इज कॉमन एक एंड पॉइंट कॉमन है बाकी के एंड पॉइंट कॉमन नहीं है सो दिज आर Distinct line segments, so AB and BC are distinct line segments. AB and BC are distinct line segments. I hope you have understood. Chali. Next figure. Yeah, this is line segment AB, and this is line segment. सी डी प्लीज पे अटेंशन आई एक्सटेंड दिस चलो प्रोड्यूस कर रहा हूं आगे इनफाइनाइटली प्रोड्यूस कर रहा हूं और आई एम कॉलिंग दिस लाइन एज एम सो यू कैन सी दिस इज लाइन सेगमेंट ए बी एंड हियर इज लाइन सेगमेंट सी डी लाइन सेगमेंट ए बी इज अ पार्ट ऑफ लाइन एम Line segment uh, CD is also part of M. Line segment AB is also part of M. But both of them have different endpoints. Not even one endpoint is common. So here I can say AB and CD are distinct line segments. Distinct line segments. Though they are on the same line, they are contained by the same line. ए बी बी सी एक ही लाइन में है ए बी सी डी एक ही लाइन में है फिर भी दे आर डिस्टिंग या वन एंड पॉइंट इज कॉमन उसके सिवा कोई भी पॉइंट कॉमन नहीं है यहां बहुत सारे पॉइंट्स कॉमन है सी दोनों में है बी दोनों में है देखो रेड में सी पार्ट सी पॉइंट है और ये ब्लैक लाइन सेगमेंट में बी है और उसके बीच आने वाले सभी पॉइंट कॉमन है But C or A के बीच including A, it's not common. B or D के बीच including D, वो common नहीं है So all points are not common. So you cannot say they are equal line segment. आप देखो दोनों के एंड पॉइंट कॉमन है उसके बीच के सब पॉइंट कॉमन है सेगमेंट एम एन और सेगमेंट एम एन ए बी के बीच बट हि सेगमेंट ए बी और सेगमेंट सी डी के बीच क्या है बहुत सारे पॉइंट कॉमन है फिर भी सम अनकॉमन पॉइंट्स है सो दे कैन नॉट बी कॉल्ड इक्वल लाइन सेगमेंट्स दे आर डिस्टिंग एंड देर इज वन मोर केस चिल्ड्रन एक और केस है एक ही लाइन पे है लेकिन ये ए बी और ये सी डी एक भी पॉइंट कॉमन नहीं है इन द फर्स्ट फिगर वन पॉइंट इज कॉमन इन द सेकेंड फिगर सम पॉइंट आर कॉमन एंड इन द थर्ड फिगर ए बी इज नॉट इक्वल टू सी डी क्यों क्योंकि एक भी पॉइंट कॉमन नहीं है उसके बीच दो दे आर ऑन द सेम लाइन सो लाइन सेगमेंट कंटेन बाय द सेम लाइन सिचुएशन वन वन पॉइंट इज कॉमन केस टू मेनी पॉइंट्स आर कॉमन एंड केस थ्री नो पॉइंट्स आर कॉमन स्टिल दे आर डिस्टिंग लाइन सेगमेंट्स नाउ कंटेन बाय डिस्टिंग लाइन बहुत सिंपल है ये ए बी है और ये ए सी है दो लाइन सेगमेंट अभी दिस इज कंटेन बाय लाइन एल एंड दिस लाइन सेगमेंट इज कंटेन बाय लाइन एम देख लो लाइन सेगमेंट ए बी को मैं दोनों और प्रोड्यूस कर रहा हूं सो इट इज लाइन एल लाइन सेगमेंट ए सी को दोनों और प्रोड्यूस कर रहा हूं सो इट इज लाइन एम सो बोथ द लाइन सेगमेंट आर कंटेन बाय डिस्टिंग लाइन सो दे आर ऑलवेज डिस्टिंग लाइन सेगमेंट ये एक फिगर हुआ दूसरा फिगर क्या हो सकता है इनिशियल पॉइंट अलग एंड पॉइंट कॉमन है या एंड पॉइंट कॉमन नहीं ये ए बी और ये सी डी 
ये दोनों लाइन से इसको मैं प्रोड्यूस करता हूं आई प्रोड्यूस दिस ऑन बोथ साइड एंड पॉलिट एम इसको मैं प्रोड्यूस करता हूं एंड पॉलिट लाइन एम यू कैन से दिस टू लाइन आर डिस्टिंग लाइन सेगमेंट ए बी एंड लाइन सेगमेंट सी डी आर कंटेन्ड बाई डिफरेंट लाइन सो दे आर डिस्टिंक्ट लाइन सेगमेंट आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड वॉट आर इक्वल लाइन सेगमेंट एंड वॉट आर डिस्टिंग लाइन सेगमेंट नाउ वी मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वेन टू रेज आर गिवन वॉट आर द डिफरेंट सिचुएशन लेट्स सी दैट ऑल राइट नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट टू रेज और राइट इसमें थोड़ा ज्यादा ध्यान देना चल टू रेस इफ गिवन दे कैन बी इक्वल रेस और कैन बी डिस्टिंग रेस नाउ व्हेन कैन बी दे इक्वल वी नो इक्वल लाइंस दैट मींस दे आर को इनसाइडिंग या ओवरलैपिंग इक्वल लाइन सेगमेंट वंस अगेन दे आर को इनसाइडिंग और यू कैन से ओवरलैपिंग सो इक्वल रेस दे आर को इनसाइडिंग रेस दे आर ओवरलैपिंग रेस that means each and every point of one ray and the points of other ray are going to be common okay so equal rays this is a ray ab and other one is ray ac ray ab is equal to ray ac please pay attention first i am talking about ray ab i'm producing one side it is already extending infinitely so i'm producing it on other side i'm going to call it line l so what is the ray ab it originates from point a passes through b and goes further and further in the direction from a to b uska matlab ke ye red ray samajh mein aayi baat chaliye ab baat karta hu ray ac is it originates from a and then it passes through c and goes further and further in the direction from a to c to wo to same hi hua ray ab aur ray ac they are equal so when are the two rays equal number 1 they should have common initial point dono ke initial point common hone chahiye number 2 they should be contained by the same line dono ek hi line ke paas hone chahiye aur number 3 their direction should be same dekho a to b direction and a to c direction is one and the same then they are equal rays all right now we are talking about distinct rays distinct rays rays contained by same line and a rays contained by distinct lines all right let's see rays contained by same line here is one ray ab let's complete the line by extending this producing on one side or us line ka naam de de l so you can see the black ray ab is contained by line l all right okay now yes other ray i'm saying green ray ek point c le liya so you have two rays ray ab and ray ac but they are not equal both are contained by the same line l but only one point is common dono ke beech ek hi point common hai yahan dono ke beech sare points common hai so they are equal is that clear to you did you understand so ye ek situation hai this is one situation now the other situation all right look this is a ray ab let's say it is contained by line l now there is i'm choosing one more ray let's say this point is c and this point is d these are distinct rays 
these are going to they are contained by the same line but still they are distinct rays do you understand ray ab and ray cd are not equal why because they are not coinciding ab dekho a or c aur uske beech wale points common hai lekin between b and c between a and d the points are not common so they are distinct rays all right so originating one point is common many points are common and now third situation no points are common this is ray ab by which line it is contained so produce the other side and call it let's say m now there is one point p here another point q here i construct ya draw a ray starting from p and passes through q so the red ray ab is not equal to black ray pq no need to write ray so red ray ab is not equal to black ray pq they are not equal so this two rays are contained by same line this two rays are contained by same line this two rays are contained by same line in all three cases the two rays are distinct rays why in first case only one point is common in second case some points are common but not all points and in third case there is not even a single point common are you getting me children so all these three cases we have distinct rays though they are contained by the same line chaliye now rays contained by distinct lines wo to bahut simple hai this is a ray ab if you extend this this is contained by line l now this is a ray ac it is contained by line m you can see both the rays they start from the same originating point initial point but they are contained by distinct lines so you can say ray ab and ray ac no need of symbol are not equal this is first situation second situation ray ab correct or ray ac ray ab and ray ac that we have seen here right distinct hai but uh, uh, are, these are contained by the same line these are contained by the same line all right ye ray uh, cd ray cd ye dekho ye dono ray correct now ray ab is contained by line l and a ray cd is contained by line m pura karo produce karo so here not even a single point is common here ray ab or ray cd ke beech ek bhi point common nahi hai and they are contained by distinct lines so the rays are distinct here only one point is common and they are contained by different lines so they are distinct so for the two rays to be distinct they should be contained by different lines and even if they are contained by same line only one point should be common or few points should be common or no point should be common so this is situation 1 situation 2 situation 3 situation 4 situation 5 so in five different situations you get distinct rays is that clear to you now i am going to draw two distinct rays kaisi rays distinct with common initial point with common initial point and not lying on the same line ab do distinct rays draw karna chahte ho to aise draw kar sakte hai with common initial point ye rahe two rays with common initial point aur ye rahe two rays With common initial point, ये रे ए बी है और ये रे ए सी है ये रे ए बी है और ये रे ए सी है सो वट इज द डिफरेंस यहां डिफरेंस क्या है कॉमन इनिशियल पॉइंट इज कॉमन द इनिशियल पॉइंट इज कॉमन बट हाउ आर द डिफरेंट दिस टू डिस्टिंग रेज आर कंटेन बाय डिफरेंट लाइन डिस्टिंग लाइन एंड दिस टू रेज are contained by the same line we don't want this rays 
we don't want two distinct rays with initial point lying on the same line contained by the same line we want two distinct rays with common initial point and not lying on the same line not contained by the same line to hame pair of rays mila pair of rays ye first figure hai pair of rays now this pair of rays form one diagram ek geometrical डायग्राम दे, देते हैं मैथमेटिकल डायग्राम देते हैं दिस डायग्राम इज कॉल्ड एंगल दिस डायग्राम इज कॉल्ड एंगल यू नो इट चिल्ड्रन बट आई एम गोइंग टू डिफाइन इट नाउ व्हाट इज एंगल व्हाट इज एंगल अ फिगर फॉर्म बाय टू डिस्टिंग रेस विथ कॉमन इनिशियल पॉइंट जो भी मैंने डिस्क्राइब किया वही लिख रहा हूं अ फिगर फॉर्म बाय टू डिस्टिंग रेस विथ कॉमन इनिशियल पॉइंट एंड नॉट कंटेन नॉट कंटेन बाय द सेम लाइन सेम लाइन is known as is known as angle not contained by same line ya yeah, not lying not lying on the same line as a bit as a not contained by the same line or not lying on the same line okay. so two distinct rays with common initial point and not lying on the same line form one figure this figure is known as angle please what is the postulate for measure of an angle jo angle ka measure hota hai uske liye ek postulate hai and what is that postulate children measure of an angle is greater than 0 but less than 180 it is greater than 0 but less than 180 that is the postulate of measure of an angle postulate of measure of an angle yahan dekh lijiye matlab ye angle ka measure it can be greater than 0 it can be greater than 0 but always less than less than 180 degrees degrees bolte hai usko greater than 0 degree and less than 180 degree abhi main batata hu un mathematicians ne kisko 180 bola this is ray ab this is ray ac they are two distinct rays with common initial point but they are lying on the same line so you cannot call the figure as angle but when two distinct rays with common initial point and lying on the same line use kehte hain opposite rays they are distinct rays they are distinct rays but they are also called opposite rays because they are on the same line but the directions are opposite they have common initial point and contained by the same line but they extend in opposite directions that's why they are called opposite rays so whenever two opposite rays are given मैथमेटिशियन ने बोल दिया फॉर सम रीजन कि ये पूरा मेजरमेंट है वो 180 डिग्री है पूरा मेजरमेंट है 180 डिग्री है और दिस इज रे ए बी और वही रे इनिशियल पॉइंट और रे ए सी सो दीज आर टू इक्वल रेस सेम रेस द फिगर फॉर्म बाय दैट इज नॉट एन एंगल बट स्टिल द मेजर ऑफ एंगल the measure between the two rays is considered as zero degree dekh lijiye children aisa ray ek ray aur dusri ray they are this equal rays ab ye zero degree hai isko open karo degree 1 2 3 4 5 90 95 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, bar raha hai aur ye straight ho gaya 180 lekin ye 180 wala angle nahi hai ye zero wala bhi angle nahi hai but when the rays become distinct 
and not lying on the same line then that figure forms an angle and its measure is always between 0 and 180 I hope you understood this all right clear understood next we'll see the paths of angle all right so let's see the paths of an angle we have already defined angle correct now it has arms uska ek part hota hai arms of angle now the name of this angle is cba angle c sorry cab chalo pehle naming dete hain name is angle ka naam kya hai angle cba cba uska naam bac bhi hoga so angle bac aur short form mein jo beech wala point hai angle a ek hi angle ho koi confusion no ho so you can use this short form to name an angle symbolically there is small sign of angle angle cba or angle bac or angle a so this is how we write symbolically correct now this angle if you are talking about and it's one and the same angle it is formed by two rays ab mujhe batao kaun si do rays hai ye angle ke ray ac and ray ab these two rays are called arms of angle cba एंगल ए सो द टू रेज विच फॉर्म एन एंगल द टू रेज विच फॉर्म एन एंगल आर कॉल्ड आर्म्स ऑफ दैट एंगल राइट लेट मी टेक वन एंगल हियर पी पी क्यू आर दिस इज एंगल पी क्यू आर एंगल पी क्यू आर टेल मी इट्स आर्म्स विच आर द आर्म्स ऑफ दिस एंगल रे रे इट इनिशियट फ्रॉम क्यू रे क्यू पी रे क्यू पी और रे क्यू आर दीज आर द आर्म्स और राइट एंड द कॉमन एंड पॉइंट ऑफ द आर्म्स जो रे ए सी और रे ए बी का एंड पॉइंट जो ए कॉमन है कॉमन एंड पॉइंट कॉमन एंड पॉइंट ऑफ टू आर्म्स या टू रेज उसे कहते हैं वर्टेक्स ऑफ एंगल दैट पॉइंट सो वर्टेक्स ऑफ एंगल इज द पॉइंट कॉमन इनिशियल पॉइंट ऑफ टू रेज टू आर्म्स एंड आर्म्स ऑफ एंगल आर टू रेज इज दैट क्लियर टू यू सो टू टर्म्स एसोसिएटेड विथ एंगल हैव बिन डिस्कस वर्टेक्स ऑफ एंगल एंड आर्म्स ऑफ एंगल आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड All right, clear to you. Okay, children, let me tell you, geom teaching geometry or learning geometry is not everyone's cup of tea. So we might have hard times, boring times, but observe it nicely, pay attention. All right, uh, watch the video repeatedly to understand. If you have any doubts, yes, you can send me. So on this number you can ask me your queries all right fine fine children this is all that you will have to copy in your notebooks huh? please see i have already discussed two lines when are they equal and when are they distinct let's see equal lines this is line l and there is another line which is exactly overlapping it both lines are overlapping let's call it m so here the two lines are equal line l and line m are equal acha now when are the two lines distinct either they are parallel or non parallel here you can see line l is parallel to line m 
they are distinct lines l is not equal to m here l is equal to m because they are equal distinct means not equal so when the two dis lines are parallel they are always distinct not equal now these are non parallel non parallel means what they are intersecting non parallel means they are intersecting lines please use ruler to draw the lines okay chaliye so this is line l and this is line m here also line l and m are not equal so they are distinct lines is that clear to you so when are the two lines equal when they are overlapping or coinciding when are the two lines distinct either they are parallel and non parallel but intersecting in one point if they are non parallel and intersecting in one point here the whole lines are intersecting each and every point of line l and m are common here l and m only one point is common this point is common let's say p okay two line segments when are the two line segments equal children see this this is line segment ab now i take same point a b a i call it m and b i call it n so a and m are coinciding a m and b sorry b and n are also coinciding so all the points are same so here ab is equal to m n the two line segments are equal because they are overlapping now when are they distinct in three situations if they have one point in common if they have no point in common and if they have many points in common now look here this is line segment let's say ab and here is line segment ac so line segment ab and line segment ac has one point common you may take this cd if you want so one point is common in them all right okay or you can take ac here is line segment ab and the other line segment is cd in both these cases one point is common so when two line segments have one point in common they are distinct line segments all right here no points are common i choose two points a and b on this line and choose two points c and d on the same line so both the line segments are on the same line but not a single point is common and yet they are distinct line segments here the line containing the two line segments are intersecting line containing the two line segments are intersecting and they are distinct here the line containing the two line segment is one and the same you see it's one and the same line all right chaliye so even if the two line segments are on the same line but if no point is common then they are distinct now many points are common look here this is line segment ab this is line segment ab and i choose two points p and q this is line segment pq a dono mein hai q dono ka point hai और ए और बी ए और क्यू के बीच सारे पॉइंट्स कॉमन है सो मेनी पॉइंट्स आर कॉमन बट स्टिल लाइन सेगमेंट पी क्यू एंड लाइन सेगमेंट ए बी आर नॉट इक्वल ए बी इज नॉट इक्वल टू पी क्यू ए बी इज नॉट इक्वल टू सी डी ए बी इज नॉट इक्वल टू सी डी ए बी इज नॉट इक्वल टू सी डी सो इन ऑल दिस सर्कमस्टांसिस द टू लाइन सेगमेंट्स आर अन इक्वल क्लियर टू यू and they are equal only if they are coinciding so please remember two line segments when they are equal and for us very important is two rays when are the two rays equal and when they are distinct similar to what we have seen now this is ray pq all right and same point p and there is a ray pr so ray pq is equal to ray pr so here p pq is equal to pr because both of them have same point common i have already discussed in the video right now when are they distinct when one point is common 
this is a ray qr and this one is a ray qp so one point is common so this rays qr and qp are not equal here ray qr and ray ps they are different so ray qr is not equal to ray ps because there is no point common no point common in this case one point is common isme ek point common hai isme no point common hai ek aur case one point common mein this is a ray pq all right it extends further and further and this is a ray pr in this direction all right on the same line so here one point is common but they are not equal chal many points common or oh, no point common yahan bhi dekh lete hain this is a ray pq on the same line and this is a ray rs on the same line but no point is common all right so they are distinct so here you can say ray pq is not equal to ray rs ya aisa uh, actually i have to say rs only correct rs now many points are common this is a ray pq and this is ray pr so p uh, sorry sr let me say sr ray sr and this is ray pq so p and q are common and many points are common so ray pq is not equal to ray rs this time r se start hota hai so i have to write rs is that clear to you i have not put the symbols you can understand here we are talking about rays okay chaliye now what is angle you have seen the definition this is one ray qp ray qp and this is another ray qr the two rays are distinct with common initial point and they are not lying on the same line so they form an angle what are the arms of this angle ray qp and ray qr use arms kehte hain and which is the vertex that common end point point q and this definition we have already discussed so children please write down all this in your notebook all right and uh, keep your books update all right uh, we will meet in the next session till then goodbye